Yes, we want to welcome you, our lovely viewer who has been joining with us ever since we began this Moment of Encounter program here at Uganda Catholic Television. And also tonight we have come. We want the Lord to meet us. We want the Lord to encounter. We want to encounter the power from heaven above. We want to encounter God in our lives, in our businesses, at our workplaces, in your marriage, at school, wherever we uh, we want to encounter the lord eno ye program ya fe ya buli jo e mumetu e program ye nsisinka no no mukama katuna tumusinka nila mu bintu ebyenja wulo mukutenda mukusinza mu kigambo ate wamu ne musala njagala no okwaniriza e shiro cho lwalero gwasaze wo kubera na fe program eno saba obedere dala na fe tugendo gena mu kutendereza tendereza wamu na fe bo tunayingira mu kigambo sigala ngoli wamu na fe bo tunagena mu sala nganawo oyimo se sala yo eche eche tago cho cho wade na cho ku mutime banga lyo na wiki namba okuva twa sembo okubena nawe nawo oyimo size wamu e sala yo ate e shiro cho lwalero echenja wule chirimo tugena kulaba anti Oyinzo kubula mboli mo, nga toma nyi embera wevo za luachi shino chidi wechiti, luachi ndinti, luachi nziju do kutia, luachi nziju kugama ngebi kwe tolode tobitegira. Na ye chigamo chula yu chigena tuza muamanyi tulabide dalanti, tudemu na feo kusaba nga tuine embera zituwe kutulako, oboli yao, nge chigamo chula yu chigendo tulambiko bulu njinti. Wali banga wali nembere kwetu de evida dala kuna kulu wagwa monda ya nyoko. Katini no gwe alieyo. Muganda oina mkwano gu abada tawanyizibwa. Uwa gwe kenyini. Ulida ange webu ulidida uluwari lo. Kufaje tukendo kutandi kila mkutendeza. Mchigambu atene musala osubole nawe. Okwe kutula ko embera ezimu. Olina ange serada joana atenja kala tugenda butelevu mu kitundu kya fe ekyo kutendereza tugenda twaliwa oba kukulembera mu nafe Christine agenda okutu kulembera okuvira dalebu kalango abantu bano twagala okwebaza prayer groups eziba tendeka prayer groups eziba tuwa kugamba eziba kiriza okongera okwereza omukama atena abo tubasabira ebirungi bingi kaleme neme kurisawo katugende mu kitundu kya fe ekyo kutendereza the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come and take control. Jangu moyo mtu kilevu. Jangu moyo wakatona. Jangu na manigo. Jangu na unyeni. Gentle Spirit, our comforter. Jangu. The love of God. We welcome you. Come lead and guide us. In this session of praise and worship, come and manifest. Even in the lives of those who are watching us and in our families. Shuma. Shuma Matimoli Kwera. Holy Quera, Ruhangi Shi. 
Spirit, we welcome you in our lives. We welcome you even at our workplaces. We welcome you in our families and in this session of praise and worship in a special way. We ask you to come and lead and guide us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My brother, my sister, today there is something that is going to happen in your life. Today there is a miracle for you. There is healing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I ask you, join me. Oluganda negatako tandi kokuulira ngambutufu ebyamanyi bijeri obulamu bwo kubanga bwe tutendereza katonda wabawo ebyamanyi byetufuna amina amina somebody clap for the lord there is something today in the house of the lord there is something today in the house of the Lord, there is something today. In the house of the Lord, hallelujah today. In the house of the yes, Lord, yes, there is something today. In the house of the Lord, there is something today. In the house of the Lord, there is something today. In the house of the Lord, hallelujah today. In the house of the Lord, yes, there is a miracle for you. In the house of the Lord. Healing today in the house of the Lord. for you. There is healing today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. Yes, there is praising today in the house of the Lord. There is praising today in the house of the Lord. There is praising today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. Of the Father. There is praising today in the house of the Lord. There is praising today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah 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 today as you turn around the Lord Hallelujah today in the house of 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 the Lord Katoya, one which you want it all when you buy a mokama, one which you want it all when you buy a mokama, hallelujah, little when you buy a mokama, one who won't go see the door when you buy a mokama, you won't go see the door when you buy a mokama, you won't go see the door when you buy a mokama, hallelujah, little when you buy a mokama. Hallelujah, Lord, when you buy a mukama. 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 Hallelujah, Lord, when you buy a mukama.
Yes, Christ, 
kumwanda mkono kwa kama guli mkuita ulendo atakenda kuona mkono kwa kama guli mkuita mwana bunia ile ndo atakenda kuona mkono kwa kama guli mkuita bunia ile ndo atakenda kuona mkono kwa yesu guli mkuita bunia ile ndo atakenda kuona Praise you, Lord. We lift you. We worship you. May your healing power reach out to each and every person watching us this night. We love you. Thank you, Lord. We adore you above everything. We worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory be to the Father. And to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. It is now in the worship. World without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O mukono gwa mukama guli dala mukuyita era buli aline ndwadde agenda kuona I don't know how the spirit does it but he always make a way for what he wants us to hear. He always make way for what he wants to reach out to his people. Ngenyimba wezigami nti omukono gwa mukama gugenda kuyita. Buli aline ndwa dagenda kuona. Chokanga ate ekigambo kya fecho lwa lero kye kigambo kye kimwe kigamba nti omulamwa gwa fogwa lero gugamba nti ye ye ka ya gabo obulamu atena abugabira dalala mu bujufu ndozo laba tugena kwebulirira tugena mu kigambo kya fe ogena kulaba anti katonda yongera okutulaga anti oyinzo okubo ine chirwadde kibadde kigwe chola banti chikwesibyeko nayo oyinzo okubanga gwa talina kyakoze okuva mu mbere eyo chokanga ya yagala okuwe obulamu mu bujufu chokagwe olwo bontu amasogo no gasimba ku bantu amasogo no gasimba ku banno balirwa nabo ba oba ba oba muganzi wo oba mwana wo oba muzadde wo oba ba luganda bo ngagwe ku tadamasu no lemo okugateka ku yo katonda asobola byonna tugenda kulaba omwami ono eyali alemedde ku kidibe emyaka 3 mu munana emyaka 3 mu munana nga yasibibwa nga yalaba sa nga naba mulaba bamulaba anti muntu naye nga munda muye ya fadda olwembera je yali ayita for 38 years this man had no life this man had died all his hope had died all his faith had gone away from him but this is the lord that we are going to encounter in the world today that is who speaks that come to me and i shall give you life and life to its fullest similarly no again okututwala mu kitundu kino eche kigambo wabula muganda wa fe mwanyina fe rose kifa again akongera okututwala mu kigambo echo echo lwalero tongere na fe okulapa mukama ngeri shija twagala munti ne wanku baddo baddo tubidde mu mbere iyo for so long he has no limit of time he has no boundaries of where you are and he has no this no situation that is too big for him to settle down there's no storm that is too, that is too strong for him to calm down 
here is the Lord in this word. May you encounter him and may you get your healing and may you receive life to its fullest. Mkwagaliza no kulizia chigambo cha katonda, echi nyuvu, ate echi ronji, ate echi wonya, ili echi gabobulamu. Friends, we welcome you to this session, a moment of encounter. And as John, as John has introduced us, I'm Rose Kiefer. And tonight we just like to focus on something which is very crucial for each one of us. Having life and life to the fullest. So before we proceed, I would just like to invite you that we share this prayer together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you because you love us so much and you give us so much. And we thank you, Lord, for each and every person who is with us in this program tonight. We ask, Lord, as that even as we share your word and the truth, Lord, of our lives, that you may lead the Holy Spirit upon us, that you may work within us to take us from where we are to where you would like each one of us to be. We trust you, Father. We trust you, Jesus. We trust you, Holy Spirit. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I would like us to share from this scripture verse that we many of us know very well, John chapter 10, verse 10. <laughs> And Jesus says in this scripture, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and life in its fullness. And it's this second part of this scripture text that we want to focus on tonight. I have come that they may have life and life in its fullness. You know, when you think that Jesus is talking to us, people who are alive, it sounds a bit of a paradox that he can talk about us having life when we are already alive. But we would like her to remember that it's one thing to be alive and it's quite another thing to have life. I can be alive and each one of you, if you're tuned in and you're watching this, it means that you're alive and I'm alive and he's alive. But I can be alive and in one or another I do not have life in one aspect of my life. For example, I'm, I'm alive but I may not be having life health-wise, physically. For example, when I'm very sick, to one degree or another, I'm lacking life in that area. And some of us are alive. Everything around us looks okay. But emotionally, we are dead. Oh, we are sick. So we are alive, but we do not have emotional life. 
Some of us are struggling to relate with people. Abamu kufe tu 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 geza kuhuruwa na gana na kuwa la gana kola gana na balala. And I think it's one of the challenges in our generation. Iran subira yemu kum kupuzibu ubochi somo zachituli nambula mowa fe. We have every form of gadget for communication. Chituli na vyo ne vyo kwe yambisa okutu sobubaka. But yeah, our well, relationships are lacking in so many ways. There's a lot of mistrust. A lot of deception. A lot of holding back. And I think world over. But especially in Africa and zeroing down on Uganda. One of the things that shows that we really do not have life. Although we are alive. Is the inability of so many people. To speak the truth. To express what they are thinking. To express what they are thinking feeling. So you go into a meeting. People are positioning themselves. A lot of fear. If I say this, what will they think? People fear to rock the boat. So even when you are discussing, people are not really being truthful. And when we come out of the meeting, now people bring out their true self. That means that we are not free. And in the, on the marriage area, you find people are married, a married woman is saying, Men cannot be trusted. And she's married to a man. So how do you how do you think that marriage is going to be? Or you find a man who is married saying women are stupid. And he's married to a woman. That means that in their dealings with one another, they cannot really be free. Free to relate as they ought to. Because one is saying men cannot be trusted. And then another is saying women don't have brains. So they are back in many ways. And Jesus is saying, this is not what I want for my people. I have come that they can have life. That people are free to express themselves. People are free to become intimate in relationships. People are free to try out new things. People are not held in the fear of suppose I fail. Jesus wants us to come to that state of life. And some of us are alive but mentally we have been destroyed. We don't have life mentally. And some of us are alive on all these areas. But spiritually, we don't have life. We are even uncomfortable when we are in church. So sometimes you find we are very free when we are outside church. But when we are in church, we put on this false humility. Because we believe this is what we believe. Please God. We don't even express ourselves well in prayer. We are not telling God what we are really feeling. And yet God wants us to relate with him at a very basic level. Heart to heart. And that's why Jesus is saying to us this evening that I have come that you may have life 
are not just life but life in its fullness so it's not enough that I am a bit healthy Jesus wants me to be healthy yes. to the best level Anjagala mbere mulamu it's not enough that I'm a Christian I come to church he wants me to have a deep spiritual life he wants me not to be limited mentally and when we are talking about mental well-being, we are not talking about degree of intelligence because we have different degrees of intelligence, but our mental state has an optimum level that the Lord wants each one of us to be at. So I, we want to look at this because many of us, even within church circles, among Christians of different religious beliefs, people who are sincerely seeking the Lord, Still many of us do not have this life. Like I've said, we go through life with suppressed or repressed emotions. Not being able to express ourselves. Sometimes you find that some of us are overly concerned about what will people think, how will people see me. So I'm dressing for people. I buy a car for people. I live in a particular house because I'm trying to to impress people. I even I eat or I don't eat particular things because I want to impress people. That is not life. God wants that if I turn out good looking I'm thinking about me I'm thinking about God but you know how many times even at weddings people are spending money they do not have because we want to give the world a particular impression there are many people who are driving wonderful cars yet living in rented houses Bungie. because I want to give an impression. I mean, at my level, how can I not be driving? Banji, Bavuge Moto Car is a bay. Nayinga Balimuku Pangisa, Quigamba, Ninzantio Kubera Mbulambu Nonga Sevuga. And sometimes even the house I'm renting does not have a car you know, parking space. So they're like, the hmm. car and the house, they do not match. So some of us, you know, are struggling with fear. If I try this, suppose it fails. Suppose this does not turn out well. And sometimes you find that some of us are always positioning ourselves. Even when we do something very good, but we are looking for personal gain out of it. So sometimes you even find I'm going out to help the poor, but I'm being followed by cameras because I want to, the world to know I'm a generous person. And you find that my motive is not really to help the poor. And you know sometimes we are struggling with anger. 
atolu situe sanganga tulu anagana tulu anagana no usungu because for so many years kufange miaka minji we have not been given the space to express ourselves when we are hurt tetuwele duwa mkisa kwe anjoba kwe kuole soba kwe wa yunga fe so sometimes we are smiling on the face eda tuwe sanganga oru situ tu 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 mwenya tu laba you are smiling at your boss but inside you are dying o mwenye eri mkulu wo akukule mbeda na yenga mutima Ofa. Sometimes you are in front of a priest and you are saying, "Ye yeah, father, ye yeah, father," but maso, in your heart you are like, "Odo soli maso gomsa selodoti, ye yeah, father, ye yeah, father." I wish you knew what I was thinking. Na yenga momoti mamunda ogambol so singa omani chempulida. And today, my dear friends, erolo alero mulu nje. God is saying, "This is not the type of life I want for you." Katonda gamba sibwe buno bula mbwe njagala obena. I want you to be able to be yourself. Njagala obere gwe that you can be able to tell people you have not understood me. Osobole okutobo okubulira abantu titemuntegedde. Listen to me. Mumpulirize. That you can be able to be called upon in public and you stand with confidence. Do you know how many people despite so much education if you ask the person to stand up and address a big group they start shaking. Osobole okweyolesa obo kuvaye rimbantu manyi abantu banji mbisera bino nibo babera ngabasoma ko Bobaita okubayo okubako chebogire lya bantu Sometimes it's because all through our life besa nganga bale merirwa kubanga mubulamu wa fe Maybe when we were young obolya bato somebody shamed us waliwo e yatuswaza or we were suddenly thrown in a crowd and we were confused oba twesanga nga tu 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 sobedwa you are taken to school the first day and familiar grounds and your parents just drop you there no preparation and you find yourself on strange territory hotel hotel twalidwa mu somero mba kadde bone bakuteka yutesi wesanze mu chifonga chipyanyo joli and maybe when you came back home your parents were not even there to ask you how was the day so that you can be able to deal with what has happened when you're in school obori yao no luna kuberwa gwako bali rugwede ko okomiwa ba ewaka bakade bote bakubuzi za luna kulutambu de lutia basobolo kumanya chichi echibadewo and the lord knows that that is the root problem era ngo mukama manyi ensongo wo buzibu bwava and he wants to deal with it era yagalo kujikola ko so that you can be free obere mulamo obere owe mirembe to take up opportunities o tandike okutwale mixa josanga okolagane nabantu to express yourself owe we yo kubako chokola to try new things o kwa okubaka echipya chogeza ko in other words to have life. Mungeri uba mungeri endala oku vera nobula as god intended it ngomo kama ya tegeka and we see even the apostles were struggling with this atetula ba naba 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 tumbe ba 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 wana gana you know at one time as jesus was talking about his passion kubanga lumu yesu yayogera ku kufa kwe kubona bona kwe scripture tells us echigambo cha katonda chitu gamba they were afraid ntibatia but they did not speak ya detebayo gera they didn't ask him what are you meaning to be crucified chichi chotegeza ngoku komerero they were not free tebali badembe because if they were free he, they would have asked he would have explained but they were held in that and fear and then we have the two sons of zebedee they go out and ask grant that we may sit one at the right side one at the left side bagenda kusaba yezu nti saba to wait to wait omukufa tule kudiyo mlala kukono in a way those guys were very free mungeri yeyo bana abakuru bali the other people when they had they were annoyed nayi bali abalala batume babaulira banyiga why were they annoyed because they also wanted those positions wanga nabobo lyao bali betaga ebifebyo but they were scared nayi bati so they were trying to pretend we don't want to the position nayenga munda mitima babietaga So you lose out an opportunity because you are fearing to express yourself. You are in a bus and you really feel pressed to go for a short call. But you are dying, you are turning your legs around, you are holding yourself, sitting straight. 
and the pe you can find that in a bus there are 30 people struggling or 15 people but everybody is quiet aboli awe sanze nga mwe motoka mulimu asatu oba na oba na bali mungeri yemu na hinga buli omwati oko and then you find one person who has a bit of freedom ne we sanga ngomu i need dembeli and they tell the bus driver to na stop nagamba omugoba we motoka imidide i need to go out for a short call saba ne yambe ko and when the person gets out you find the 20 people fuluba, following we sanga it means all of you had the same needs. But you didn't feel this freedom. And Jesus is saying tonight, I want you to be free. We have only one life to live. We should not live it. You're not tied by this and tied by this. And tied by this and tied by the good news that we have a God. The same yesterday, today, Katonda, omu, ejo, lero, and forever. Era ne mirembe That's juna. what Hebrews 13 8 tells us. Checho, abayibla, abayibla, so he's able to satu. go into our past. Nti, tugen, and deal with the issues that have made us start responding to life in a negative way. Issues that have bound us and kept us from expressing ourselves or responding to life as God would want us. And I would just like us to pray wherever you are in your sitting room in your bedroom I would just like you to get ready to pray and know that where you are the Lord is there let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Heavenly Father we thank and we bless you I would just like you to translate the prayer. Father, we thank and we bless you. Because you are good. And you give us so much. And tonight, Lord, you, you want to continue releasing our lives so that we can have life in its fullness. Lord, we bring to you our lives from the time before we were conceived to our present moment. Lord, you know the circumstances of our conception. Some of us, Lord, were conceived in fear because our mothers were not ready to conceive at that time. They did not want to get pregnant and they were praying that they do not get pregnant. Some of our mothers were assaulted sexually. Some of us, Lord, were born when our parents were drunk. And because of that, we have this self-hatred that we don't even understand where it comes from. This feeling of we are not the right person. And Lord Jesus, I invite you right now to move into the moment of our conception. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters wherever they are right now in this prayer that you move into the moment of our conception and release your light destroy the lie the enemy produced in that moment telling us we are not the right person telling us we are unwanted and all the lies he has said Jesus I invite you to release your healing love soak out the poison that came into our lives in that moment Lord some of us Lord 
we are struggling through life because of what happened when we were in our mother's womb. Some of our parents tried to abort us. And because of that, we are struggling suicidal tendencies. Some of us are depressed. It's like there is a cloud over our lives. A cloud of darkness. Jesus, Jesus, Yes. You are the light of the world. I ask you to release your light. And dispel any darkness that came into our lives at the time we were in our mother's homes. We ask you, Lord, some of us, our parents, were so poor. They were so much struggle when we were in the womb. Some of us, Lord, we were twins. And one of the twins died in the womb. And for the rest of the months, we had to stay with the dead person close to us. And we have this fear of death. And this sadness that follows us. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, in faith, I put the, your cross, Lord Jesus, to stand between the living and the dead child in the world. Move into that period in our lives. And it is healing, Lord. It is your healing power, Lord. I pray for any brother or sister who is struggling. Because of a situation like this, that you free them tonight. Lord, some of us, Lord, our parents experience trauma. Maybe because they had an accident. Lord, we ask Take away the fear that was introduced in our lives. In that moment, Lord, Lord, we ask you to release your power into that stage of our lives. Whatever, Whatever happened when we were in the war, we, we claim healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we invite you to move into our childhood the shame that was brought upon us. The shame that was brought upon us. Treatment. The death of our parents. The poverty, Lord. The, that makes us want to prove ourselves again and again. Lord, we ask you that you may free us. We bring to your own life. Move through each stage of our lives. And bring healing, Lord. Lord. The healing that has come from being betrayed. The healing. Lord, bring healing from the pain, Lord, of never having enough of not being accepted, of not having opportunities that other people have. We trust you, Lord, to deal with this and other issues. And we pray that you continue healing us out of your riches in glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we bless the Lord and we shall continue from there next week. We shall continue where we left. But I invite you and I encourage you to keep inviting Jesus through the stages of your life. Amen. Amen. Stay blessed. If you're not, it will allow you to be funida or could Jacob and walk to Uganda Catholic Television. Now, also, we'll go and back home. Maybe don't you take a coffee? Sigaza wake up. Also, we'll go and a cone. Go and a cone. No, 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 no,
ku TV ya Fenengas. Ate tuongere, tuongere no jima nyisa balala. Ate tuongere no kujiwa gira. O kubela koko ngoli ku TV station eno. E chochoka chikola chama nyinyo jetuli. Ate chukola chama nyinyo ili waka 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 tunda. Katino nzikiriza nkusivule. Nzikiriza nkusivule. Nkuagalize weekend nungi. Ate ne weekend ja. Tuongere kusinka na kulokutano. Uluja kusawa zezimu ku TV station EM mbadde inze wauli jo serada joana atene team yona tuji sabilo mukama jo mukisa ate kusingira dala you our lovely viewer may you be blessed in jesus name amen <laughs>